on Sky News Live. Welcome back to Money Exchange. It's time for this week's Big Currency Movers. Now, each week on the show, I'm going to give you some of my top currency predictions and tips. And it's important that you know what type of trader I am so you understand the importance of time and patience when assessing some of the predictions and tips. I class myself as a medium to long-term trader who takes medium to long-term views on currency markets based off interest rates and key fundamental economic facts. Yes, I use technical analysis as part of my strategy. However, for the most part, I'm a trader who is holding currency positions for weeks and months. A lot of novice traders try and make money in currency markets in very short time frames and trade what's called intraday, meaning they try and get in and out of the market in a 24-hour period. If that's you, you're likely losing money because most novice traders that try their hand at day trading lose their money pretty quickly. I don't actually see myself really as a currency trader, more of a currency investor. So when I give you predictions or tips on currency markets, they're generally based over a six to nine month time frame. For example, the following currencies over the next six to nine months, I anticipate will fall in value the Aussie dollar versus the US dollar, the Kiwi dollar versus the US dollar, the Euro versus the US dollar, and the Euro versus the pound. And the currency pairs that I expect to rise in value are the US dollar and the Chinese yuan and the US dollar versus the Canadian dollar. So I, I, I want to make a point, US dollar versus the Chinese yuan I expect to rise in value and that goes in line with what our other uh, guests have been saying. All of those currency predictions are never going to go in one straight line. They're going to rise and fall over coming months but overall they should move in the direction I've outlined simply because the collective expectations of where interest rates are likely headed aligns with the currency prediction. Okay, I want to touch on something now that I think is really important to take note of. You will have heard that there is a lot of conjecture around when the US Federal Reserve will raise its official interest rate for the first time in nearly 10 years. Some traders are saying October, some are saying December, and some are saying even as late as April 2016. So there's clear indecision in the market, and therefore you can expect to see indecision in the US dollar's price movement. The same can be said for the Reserve Bank of Australia. For example, Paul Bloxham at HSBC doesn't see the RBA dropping rates in the coming six months. But the ANZ Bank released a statement a week or so back saying they expected the RBA to lower the cash rate twice in 2016 to 1.5%. Again, indecision. So where in the market right now is there some consensus where in the market there isn't that same level of indecision? Here is one currency pair I think offers excellent risk to reward at current levels. The Kiwi dollar versus the US dollar. There is virtually total agreement amongst traders and economists that the Reserve Bank of New Zealand is going to put interest rates down again in coming months. Graham Wheeler has hinted at this in his recent statements, so therefore the Kiwi dollar should decline in value again short, shortly again. But if you take a look at the Kiwi dollar chart in the, chart in the past couple of weeks, it's rallied 10 out of 11 days, four and a half cents it's actually rallied up higher. I think it's probably going to move back lower in the coming few weeks. The same can be said for the euro against the US dollars. Traders are not in dispute about whether the euro will decline or whether the ECB is going to inject their stimulus program. They expect that to happen and because of more stimulus it's highly likely the euro is going to decline in value. So for those of you that don't know what a short position is, it's just simply when we put a position in the market where we expect the currency value to decline in value. We generally risk about 1% on our trades in our trading room at LTG Gold Rock. Now, it's time for our currency quiz question of the week. So let's get to this week's question for 500 big ones. Here we go. Name one of the three people that are on the current Australian $20 note. There are three people on the current Australian $20 note. 
One founded the Royal Flying Doctor Service. The one sitting on the back of the camel was a missionary in inland Australia. And the lady on the $20 note, she's a convict who became a successful businesswoman. If you think you know the name of one of those three famous individuals, jump onto moneyexchangetv.com and type in your answer. And if you're the first person to get one of the three names correct, you'll win $500 cash. Well, that's all we have time for in this week's program, but you can keep up to date with all my currency predictions and tips by going to moneyexchangetv.com and registering to receive my daily reports, moneyexchangetv.com. Thanks for your company. I'll see you again next week. Good night.